Hello, this is Shannon with Waffle Flower. I'm here at scrapbook.com sharing with you how to create this really beautiful card with a very simple watercolor emboss resist technique. We're gonna start with an A2 panel of watercolor paper. This paper will hold up to the water that we apply on and will really allow our ink to move on the surface and blend and basically paint itself. First thing we're gonna do is stamp our sentiment. This is the Bouquet Builder 2 stamp set. We're gonna use Hello Beautiful and I'm just gonna mount it here on my acrylic block. There we go. I'm gonna use some archival ink to stamp it. Just ink it up really good. Center it here. Press it down, hold it in place, and just push a little pressure over where the sentiment is. And this will make sure you get a really good impression. There we go. Now we're gonna move on and add a beautiful stitched border just to the edges. Let's add a nice little detail before we stamp all our flowers. I'm using Waffle Flowers A2 Nested Rectangles 1 die. This is the largest die from that set. And you can see this is gonna add a beautiful little stitched border, just a nice little detail. And then grab a little piece of washi tape to hold it in place. And now I'll run it through my die cutting machine. So now we have this cute little stitched border around the edges. Now I'm going to peel off one of these flowers from this Bouquet Builder 2 stamp set. I'm going to use this single bloom here. I'm going to mount it on my acrylic block. And I'm actually going to emboss this, heat emboss this image. To make sure the embossing powder only sticks where I stamp this flower, I'm going to put down some anti-static powder. I'm gonna go over the entire surface of this card, especially over where I stamped my sentiment earlier because I don't want my embossing powder to stick there either. Now I'll grab my embossing ink. This is Versamark. Ink up my flower. I'm just gonna stamp it once on some scrap paper. And then I'll ink it up one more time. And now we'll start stamping. I'm gonna start at the corners. Stamp one flower there. Go down to this bottom corner. And I'll stamp one more right here between the two flowers on the corners. Now that I've stamped half, I'm going to pour my embossing powder. I'm gonna use some white embossing powder. Now the embossing powder is poured on, I'm going to heat set this with my heat tool. Okay, now that this half is heat set, we're going to stamp the other half, and then we'll be ready to color. With our heat embossing done, now we can color. I have some Tombow dual brush pens. I have two colors in each shade. So I have two kind of purpley blues, two reds, and two yellow orange. Basically a dark and a light of each version. I'm going to start with my light shade and just quickly color. This is not precise coloring. You just wanna get some color down onto one of these flowers. And I'm gonna go directly across and color this one too. I'm gonna to do two flowers with each hue. Now I'll take my dark shade and color in some of the places that I left white. And you can see I'm not being very careful, just adding a little bit of this darker color, coloring straight over my embossed lines. Those will show up later after we spray this with water, they'll become visible again. And now I'm done with my purple blue. I'm gonna move on to my red combo now. Start with my lighter shade. Just quickly put some of that lighter shade down. I use a lot of the light and very little of the dark. So the dark doesn't overpower the light. Grab the dark and just add it little spots over the flower. Now my last hue, start with my lightest color again. 
You can even see I'm coloring outside of the flower as well and finish with the dark. So now that we have our flowers colored, we're ready for the magic touch. You're gonna to take some water, I have a spray bottle here of water, and I'm going to spray all over this. And after I spray, you'll see the water kind of pick up and activate this ink and move the colors around. It'll really look like this is painting itself. And you can see now after I've sprayed it, how the ink is moving around and spreading and filling any, any white spots that I may have left and giving this beautiful soft color all around. Now just let this dry, and once it's dried, we'll finish up the card. Now that it's dry, I'm ready to adhere my panel onto an A2 side folding card base. I'll just use a tape runner, line it up, and stick that down. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some embellishments with Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is Morning Dew, which is a beautiful clear color. These little dew drops will dry completely clear and we'll just add a little bit of sparkle and dimension to this card. And that will complete our card. I really love how the ink blended and moved because we used two different shades of our hue. We have some beautiful darks and lights within one color. It's so magical how the water makes the ink basically paint itself. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message.